In this video, I'm going to talk about the Kenda Booster Pro 700x40 tires. These tires were sent to me by Dan's Bike Shop. So, first of all, a big thank you to Dan's for sending them over. At first glance, they look like they would be pretty good off-road tires, so I decided to install them on my Surly Midnight Special. I installed the tires myself. Honestly, there's not much to say about the installation, which is a good thing. I put the tires on, I put sealant, they sealed, and I went out for a ride. First ride with the Kenda Booster Pro. Let's let it go through some off-road goodness. Pump the tire in front at 33 and the back at 34 and so far Oh very loose and rocky all of a sudden <laughs> That last bit was very rough on the wheels and the tires. There was a curb and usually there are rocks that make the transition from the rocks to the curb pretty smooth, but I think there was, I don't know, the curb must have been a little bit higher than normal. The bike just bounced on the curb and uh, it looks okay. As expected, the thread pattern of these Kendo Booster Pros make it very confident, inspiring in the off-road. I've, I've, I haven't felt like I lost traction or grip in anything. And then, of course, this is very like, this is very dry, rocky conditions. Some areas loose pebbles. We're going to go to some more later on. But so far, so good. I am very surprised by how comfortable they feel very comparable to some of the most comfortable tires I've ever used. On the road is as expected. You hear a little hum when you're on the road and I don't know, I mean that just feels like you're losing speed. Part of it is the width of the tire 700 by 40 but a big part of it is the thread. In exchange for confidence off-road and grip, you are sacrificing speed on the road. Which, you know, if you're not racing, it's probably a good deal. Okay, let me interrupt the ride because I want to have a little clarification. I'm making it sound like it's really slow. And after having ridden it a few more times, I've changed my view on it because it's not actually that slow on tarmac. So at first glance, it looks like a knobby tire, like a really knobby tire that is meant for off-road. But after having used it for a bit, it feels like it's in between an all-arounder tire, like a WTB Riddler, a Maxxis Rambler, and a WTB Sendero or Venture. So the Sendero or Ventures, they really are, for me, they really feel more like off-road tires than tires that you use on tarmac. But... These Kenda Booster Pros really seem like they are in between these two tires. So they're in between an all-arounder and in between a more off-road oriented tire. Because the tire is not that slow and I wouldn't mind riding these tires on the road. Still pretty good in my opinion. Anyway, back to the ride. Tires look pretty good too. I like the color.
like these tires. They are grippy, comfortable, and they feel fast. Like even on the pavement, I don't mind uh, using this. I don't think I would mind using this on a long uh, road ride, albeit a uh, slow long road ride, but not bad. I gotta say, I think it's one of my favorite tires to try on so far. Again, thank you to Dance Bike Shop for sending these tires over. They've got shops all over the Philippines, so make sure to check them out. And if you want to hear more from me, I send out a weekly email called the Villain Newsletter. Feel free to subscribe over here. Um, that's it. Alright, keep riding friends. I'll see you next time.